you'll see a lot of different kind of variations of, uh, of pivot and, and jabs like in the mid post. So a lot of you guys like uh, LeBron James, guys working in from this elbow, isolating. Harrison Barnes does a great job for the Mavericks of utilizing their feet. But for you guys at the point guard position, all right, really what we're just trying to understand and create is just, we talked about it, having a low base, all right, attacking the defender from this, this level, not raising our level high, all right? But what we're also seeing too, you guys got to understand the importance of angles, all right? So when we attack at an angle, right, it's a more so about if I jab him, all right, he's got to respect this jab. If not, obviously, I jab and I could just go and just still attack. So we're attacking the inside hip. So if I jab right, I want him to, to bite. Now, if he uses it, then I'm just going downhill attacking his inner shoulder or hip. All right, but now if I'm doing it three times, so I'm here and I'm here. He's got to respect it. If I don't, even out of this stance with my hips down, I can still attack from this angle, all right, and try to turn the corner. But what we're seeing, too, is on that last spin. All right, so we're going one, two. When we're spinning, I'm noticing a lot of you guys is, with this inside foot, you're coming out and you're lateral with this first step. All right, so now when we're lateral, we got to overcompensate by using an extra dribble just to attack a spot. And by that second dribble, what does that allow the weak side defense to do? Just recover, right? So now we have maybe an opportunity to get an open shot. That one last dribble before we gather ourselves, now we're going right into it and contested shot. All right, so it's very important. All you guys, we suffer sometimes in, in game situations from shot selection. All right, sometimes you guys will have a wide open shot but you'll use the extra dribble, and now it's automatically a contested shot. All right, so we got to be aware of those things. So when we're jabbing here, all right, we want to try to generate momentum by sweeping this inside leg around, all right? And when I sweep, I'm trying to attack his left heel. So what I mean by that is when I sweep here, I'm going right here. So it's almost heel to heel. I'm using my inside shoulder, so when he opens up, all right, I'm not veering away from the contact, all right? Because what are you guys taught to do if you get beat off the dribble? Run and recover, right? So let's say if I take that lateral step and I'm one, two, and I'm going this direction and I'm lateral, right? He's going to meet me there and he's going to contest my shot. But I could take him initially out the play just by attacking his inner, uh, inner hip. So I'm one, two, and I'm sweeping this leg around and I'm here. Now I'm able to turn that corner and get it off the backboard. Or if the defense slides over, where are we going with it? Penetrate kick, all right? All right, anytime you guys are, are dribbling, Dribble with purpose. Any guy, anytime you guys are, are jabbing, jab with a purpose. All right? I think a lot of the time you guys are in the games. Well, let me back up. You guys go into practices just doing things just to do them. You know what I mean? There's, there's no awareness in, in the terms of purpose. Like, you guys got to jab with purpose. Like, if, if coach is guarding me, all right, remember, who has the advantage between me and him? Why do I have the advantage? I know what I'm doing. I think a lot of the time you guys catch the ball, one, you'll put the ball on the floor, and then you allow the defender to dictate where you're going with it, all right? Don't let the defense ever speed you up. Just because he's pressuring me, cool. What do we do? Just like what we worked on. I use my pivot, I'm going here. Now I create the space, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Now I kind of create an idea of where I want to go with the ball. All right, obviously if you're running offense, I swing the ball or whatever, but if I catch on the pop out and I jab him, I know I want to go left, so which way am I going to jab? Right, boom, I create the angle and then I attack. If I want to go left, same thing. I catch, hop step, all right, maybe go here, boom, create an angle for me to attack. But don't just kind of just step, just a step. Always have an idea of where you want to go with the ball, all right? Then you strike and attack. The famous phrase we always talk about is what? We have to play chess on offense while the defense is playing checkers. So we got to start thinking two steps ahead, all right? But you got to jab with purpose, I'm telling you. For all of you guys that maybe we lack of some athleticism in certain areas, all right, the best way for you to create space with the defender is by your feet. All right, because if you catch and you do this, you got to be a hell of a player and an athlete to put the ball, to catch, put it on the floor, and then just kind of create. All right, only a very few could do that, especially on the collegiate side. All right, so for you guys that kind of struggle with that, I know I did in high school a lot, so I had to be great at my footwork. All right. 